This is another episode of Stand Up Comedy, your host and MC, celebrating 40 plus years on the fringe of show business. Stories, interviews, and comedy sets from the famous and not so famous. Here's your host and MC, Scott Edwards. <laughs> hey, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to an audience of one, our special bonus podcast. And man, are we in for a treat. I got my good friend here to share some of his funny. Ladies and gentlemen from Los Angeles, California, it's Bob Worley. Thank Bob. you, Scott. Thank you, Scott. Scott, first thing, I know what you're thinking is, why is Bob dressed like a mime? <laughs> well, you, you and your viewers are in for a treat today, my friend, because I am going to perform the world-famous Man stuck in a glass box for you and your viewers today. No, really? Yes, I am. I am. So, uh, where's the camera? Which <laughs> one is the camera? Is that uh, that's the copy maker? Here we go. Here we go. Ready? Here we go. Why are you dressed like a clown? I'm a mime, Lisa. I'm a mime. <laughs> ah, idiot. <laughs> you know, she's the theater maker. You, you, you think you get it? All right, here we go. Here we go. Man stuck in a box. All right, I'm ready. Here we go. Ready? Man stuck in a box. Uh. <laughs> oh, God. I can't breathe in here. <laughs> oh, God. Somebody get, 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 get me out of here. Break this thing. Get me out of here. Um. <laughs> um. Mime stuck in a box. I have not heard that. Ever. You're you're you know, so, most, you're a creative most people person. never do hear the mind. Most <laughs> people never do hear the mind bit, but I vocalized it for you today. Wow. That's incredible. I didn't know you were a mime. Did you study it? Well, you know, I was encouraged in high school by my drama teacher, Hardin Brothers, to become a mime. Because during class he would always say, Hey man, why don't you just be quiet? Stop <laughs> talking. Shut up. <laughs> so I took that as a hint. Oh, he's encouraged me into the arts of Miming, and then we finally went and saw the great Marcel Marceau. Do you know who he is? Oh, Marcel Marceau, he's like the most famous mime ever. Yeah, yeah, but I didn't quite get the whole thing yet because I remember during the first time I saw him, I kept yelling out, "Louder! We can't hear you!" <laughs> but the security letter later on told me what it was all about. They were helping me out. <laughs> they kind of explained it. <laughs> wow. Well, you are so many talents, a comedian, an actor, a writer, and a mime. It's incredible. Thanks for sharing that with the audience. And you know, Bob, Christmas is just around the corner. It is just around the corner. You got all your gifts yet for everybody? Well, I, I'm working on it, but I could use some help. Any suggestions? You know, because of what's going on in the world today, here's some real easy tips. You can get these at the market. I found the other day uh, the Slinky. You remember the Slinky? Oh, yeah, the Slinky. Yeah, it's a classic. Minutes of fun. <laughs> you know what's even worse, though, is if your house doesn't have any steps. Oh. Yeah, you're just sitting out on the curb going, it's Slinky. <laughs> yeah, Slinky. Hey, you know what's great, though, is you can stretch it out, straighten it out, stretch it out across the road, and wait for a motorcycle to go by. <laughs> you know, it's Slinky. It's slinky. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's how I got my Yamaha. Good bike, a little skinned up, but I don't mind. I'm going to repaint it. <laughs> you got a Yamaha using your slinky. That is that is some creative thinking. Oh, you know, another good thing you can get at the market as well, 9-volt batteries. 9-volt batteries? Is that kids, a toy? Kids, it, kids love them. Yeah, yeah, you just unwrap it. You ever touch one up to your tongue, get that little buzz? That'll, you go, you go! <laughs> Hours of enjoyment. We used to do that to my brother. I'd force him to touch it. Get over here. Touch it. Touch it. You know, big car battery. Touch that thing. Brought up a jumper cable. Stick your tongue out. Wham! Well, this is a lot of fun. <laughs> good, good kid. You know, he's a little slow, but he's all right. Good guy. <laughs> wow. He's got a big heart, Scott. He's got a big heart. Well, it's an enlarged heart, but still, that's big. <laughs> <laughs> well, those are some terrific gift ideas. Easy, very cheap, and I think kids will have uh, hours, if not minutes, of enjoyment. <laughs> well, Bob, I, I can't tell you how excited I am that we were able to share this incredible information and your miming with our podcast audience today. Oh, I, I hope they enjoy it. And now, if you don't mind, I'm going to take this crappy paint uh, that I have on my face off. <laughs> okay. You're going you're gonna to get out of your mime outfit? 
Hey, I go all in for you, Scott. You know, a lot of people just go halfway measures, not me. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Bob Worley. Ladies and gentlemen, our special bonus podcast and Christmas buying tips from comedian Bob Worley. Bob, thanks for joining us today. You're welcome. Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> everybody stay tuned for Sunday. We'll have our new podcast out. And thanks for enjoying our special Audience of One podcast bonus. Bye. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Stand Up Comedy, your host and MC. For information on the show, merchandise, and our sponsors, or to send comments to Scott, visit our website at www.standupyourhostandmc.com. Look for more episodes soon and enjoy the world of stand-up comedy. Visit a comedy showroom near you. bit.